Good evening and welcome to the Predator and WPA World Temple Women's Championship here in Klagenfurt, Austria. And we have such a great match here coming up, a loser qualification match to get to the last 16 in the women's division. We have Seosea and Pia Filler in the commentary booth for this match. We have another legend himself, Daryl Peach, and myself, Tim De Reuter. Hi Daryl, how are you today? Tim, very good, thank you very much. Good to have you here. Yeah, thanks. Looking forward to this one. Yeah, pretty young player, Seosea. Actually already has won the Pro Beard Series event in Las Vegas. So, already knows what winning is feel feeling like you yeah. know some players don't never really got the chance to experience that she did it on a young age yep and knows what it takes to win as well yeah yeah same thing for pia just not on the world stage yet last match i spoke about her a little bit she won the european championship euro tour she Obviously has good results among the world events. She just never snapped one off yet. So I think she's due to get the chance at least. Pretty decent break. Just no ball finding the pocket. Don't think she the one ball is on. And it makes no sense to jump at this one ball too because of where the two ball is. <coughs> yep, can just Whoop. get through. I don't think you can see the right hand side of the one. Just wondering, can she play a push to maybe a different jump? Well, conservative safety. I think she was not trying to bump the six, but there was also a scratch with the cue ball. Yeah, yeah. Trying to just come past the six and use the five as the blocker. Now there's two shots here. I think I like the distance too. Try to cut the one to the side and get the cue ball behind the five just in case. This was the other option though. Really going for the shot and get the cue ball behind the six, but is not that good of a hook no. this way. I like the shot, just slightly too much pace on it. A two in one shot. Pretty close, just hung the ball. I think it turned out to be safe. So we are playing a race to seven alternating breaks WPA 10 ball rules, which means no early combinations on the 10, no early wins, no 10 on the break, all ball fouls only, and referee wrecking the balls. Oh, I like this. She's got that really nice and oh, just not got the hook. It's a great effort. I mean, I think she has left a small piece of the piece of the one. I'm just not sure. Maybe it's extremely thin and she doesn't like it. If she doesn't like it, why not masse and try to catch the one thick? She can hit the one ball a little thicker. She can go around for the five. Oh, she's caught it in. Wow. Can't she? Yeah, what a shot. You can just make the ball. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, wha what about what safety? What a shot from there. She's cut it in with inside, inside spin as well. Yeah, yeah. Very aggressive play there. Or well, maybe she felt that thinning uh, the one was so scary yeah i feel like maybe she felt like there wasn't many other options on so yeah 
Go for it, full-blooded. Now, getting the reward. Yeah, P Pia Filler who lost her winner qualification match to Siming Chen. Not long ago, I think two or three hours ago, so she had to regroup real fast. Not sure about Seosea. Yeah, it was a 7-5 loss. And then Seosea, she... Let's see. She lost her first round match to Ina Kaplan, 7-6. Beat Bojana Sarac 7-0 and Monika Zabek 7-3 to get to this match. Pia Filler who only beat Kakai 1-7-3 in the first match of the tournament and then to losing to Siming Chen. But off to a good start here. Made a great shot on the one. From there, not really much strange things happening. No, pretty <coughs> straightforward run out af after the one ball. <coughs> Excuse me. She made sure she got a decent shot on the eight ball, though. I think he's she can just play a straight draw. Just don't draw to where you get close to the side. Just. Even if you get in the center of the table, it's all right. Left a little bit more cut. That was one of the risks if you were going to use the, the yes. long rail. You were If you get short, then still she could be fine with pocket speed here. Float the ball in. Yeah, using all the pocket. Where the 10 ball was, it didn't really matter, did it? So, good opening rack here from Pia Filler, 1-0. Well, you can look at it uh, from two. There's a, there's a two-way look at it because she just lost her match. So you could think, well, she might not be feeling too great because she lost. On the other side, she also knows that she's now in stroke. She had a lot of play. So that means she might be the favorite in this match because she just recently played. Maybe so. And also who she's played and lost to is playing probably one of the tournament favorites and only just losing. So she's obviously playing well. Yeah. Yeah, she actually had also chances to reel it in. So that could, you know, it's always the how you look at it, though. If you want to be very extremely negative, then, yeah, you should be thinking, well, I had my chances, and I lost, and now I have to play again, and blah, blah, Like, you can look at it the bad way, or you can think, well, I'm a stroke, and I played a pretty decent match. It's up to you who, which yeah. one we pick, right? I think the, the bottom line for me is this, it's a fresh match. You've got to regroup. Re reset and start again. It's whole new, literally a whole new ball game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She has been breaking the same way though. Last match, I didn't like it that much. She really cuts the one a lot, and yeah, like you can see. On also, the layout is really scrappy too. I'm playing safe here behind the seven. It's either that or I make the one and I play safe on the two. Do you think one of those? You see a nail there? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Don't think that would suit you, Tim. You sure? No, <laughs> not your colour. <laughs> oh, sure. Nice. <laughs> just the, the thing itself is fine, just not the <laughs> colour, huh? <laughs> Interesting, though. I'm not sure how I'm, how I'm kicking this. I feel feel two rails there's no scratch so two rails try to send the one ball down and maybe the cue ball slides up to the to nine to the nine yeah i feel that well, 
was sort of right in between in the end. Yeah, she could have also went the other way, tried to nick the one on the left side and bring the cue ball down. Yeah. But this was right in between. Just looking if she... Can she get on the yeah, two? Yeah, the maybe. two may go. If she just bumps it out slightly. Yeah, well, the way she's played it. If not, she's got another... S well, it does go. Yeah, and if she gets to angle. the bottom of the three, the five will go to the left. The four seven is on, so... Yeah, and all of a sudden the rack opens. Oh, she did play the kiss, though. Hmm. Looks to me like the three does go in the top right, so... Kind of surprised she played the bump. Now she can still play the three of the six, yeah. I was going to say, kind of aggressive. Has to also draw the cue ball out. I feel this is a... What do you think the percentage is on this? 20%, 30%? Yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, this is easy missable, though. It's not a hanger, especially because you have to do something with the cue ball. If you can just make the ball, it would already be a little higher. She caught it really thick, and... I am wondering... I, th I think she's left the three ball on as well. Oh, no. She got fortunate. But with that nine ball hanging there, it does make that pocket pretty big. For the jump. Yep. Yeah, I mean, there's a. And there's also a there's a carom on the carom seven. On yeah. The seven yeah. Well, she hasn't made her mind up yet. Called her extension. That was probably her biggest problem last match, was she takes a little extra time in figuring out what to do and she sometimes just has to shoot real fast and then or decide really fast because of the shot clock well she called the seven and she's played it pretty good just lost the three ball slightly yeah just slight under hit here I mean, if she wants, she can still go aggressive and cut the three in the top right corner in this view. But if you want to also play the score, maybe you could play safe as well, just behind the four. Because the the cut, you knew that if you didn't make it, you were going to sell out. You're going to hang it, It's yeah. wide open. I mean, that's a risk you take if you go for it. I always feel if there's no given safety, easy safety, then I always think you might as well just go for it. There's nothing worse than losing a rack or a match even, playing safe. Yeah, true. I mean... <coughs> oh. Dicing with that middle there. I just feel there is two ways to look at it, like always. I mean, it's the <laughs> main thing. There's also this thing where you feel every time you miss, you leave your opponent five easy open balls, and you did all the hard work. So at some point, I just stop taking the risk all the time. I just look at the score and say, okay, maybe I, oh, I'm feeling good. I'm in stroke. I'm up. Let's, let's swing at this, for example. And then sometimes I'm like, I'd rather just wait a little bit. Yeah, and, and like I said, if there's an easy safe, then... Sometimes a safe is definitely the best option. Yeah. I'm not saying it's black and white. It all depends on the situation. Like you said, score comes into it sometimes. Score of the match, so... Came up a little short on this nine, so... I f she's gonna, she's got to go three rails here. Short rail, long rail, another short rail. Possible four, or twice the short rail. I wasn't sure if she could hold this. She it's all right.
to level the score one each. Nice, Seosea. Yeah, probably a fair score share in the first two racks. They both made the odd mistake. Straight in the hole two, nice execution. Referee making sure to watch the cue ball first. We've had some accidents in the past though, with the cue ball still going and already giving up the racks and stuff, so they're trying to make it a little bit more official nowadays. Yeah, actually, when I, I don't like talking about it, as you know, Tim, but when I won the world title, the world nine ball, what you what you looking no, at? No, no, continue. continue. When, when, <laughs> I won, when I won the world nine ball, I, I, when I potted the final nine, I didn't even realise at the time, but I threw my cue on the table and the cue ball was still moving and it came close to, <laughs> <laughs> close to touching, the, touching my cue, so... Yeah, I mean, it's still part of the rules, so you got to live up to it. She's going to push to a dead straight two ball. Oh, it didn't end up dead straight, but I'm wondering what she's thinking about playing here. Usually you play this push to overcut the two, but the two is so close to the rail. Or is she just going to make Still, the two yeah. and play safe on the three? Like yeah, I make the two. I follow through just before the ten and... Is it the ten and the nine on the bottom? Yep. Yeah, and I don't mind her giving this back. Because also the six is pretty low. It's not easy to get some look on the three. Or is she really going to pound the cue ball like two rails forward? But I mean, it would be aggressive if she does, but I don't see that happening. Cushion went rail first. It was a tough rail first, though. Actually, it turned out to be pretty good with where the two ball ended up, but it was so close to the rail that going rail first is so sensitive. I feel if it's off the rail more, you get more feel of grabbing the ball and moving the cue ball. Probably get the cue ball behind the seven, maybe bank the two underneath the eight. Oh, she thinned the two. Did she get the hook? No, she did not. That's the down part of this shot too, though. Like you're gonna cut the two to the right, and if you wanna hit it that super thin, the cue ball is most likely to end up on the left side. Yeah. You need to, oh, well maybe she did get enough hook though. Almost scratched, but this is almost equivalent to scratching. Yeah. You feel like the three definitely came into play there because she played that with left English just to try and just slide it round the three. So the only thing I could think of being a little difficult is maybe if the nine doesn't go, but still with the new Arcadia cloth will be sliding all week so must favor her to cheat the pocket still on the nine stop shot on the four yeah you can see from that angle it, does, it looks as if the nine goes quite quite comfortably as long as you get closer to the nine you shouldn't worry anyway so you can play the soft speed yeah Interesting. She's left an angle 
Running to the left side of the six. The, we just seen the six doesn't go in the bottom right corner. Or at least that's how it looked to me. It's strange, isn't it? It looks like it goes from the shot from the end of the table. I'm starting to doubt myself here. <laughs> well, looking at how she's looking at this, I think she's just going to play a s well, soft draw. Six in the same pocket. Yeah, it's just with the where the 10 9 is. I might go forward and shoot the six in the right side pocket. Or underneath the six. This way. Yeah, she's no, so she should be okay missing the 9 10. Yeah. I was just thinking if she ends up more in the center of the table, now the 9 10 really comes into play. She can actually play this with a trace of left to just slide past the 8 ball. Just like that. short but it doesn't matter because she's got the open table the top half is totally open no traffic just got to make sure she doesn't finish straight on the eight ball well she's got plenty of angle to get to the nine Nice confident stroke. Nice run out there. Two one, be a filler. Always, if Joshua isn't playing, he's always there to support. It's nice to see. The other way around uh, as well, too. And vice so versa, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's been building her game quite a lot the last two, three years. It's been really stepping up. I mean, obviously she has good support. She has someone in her corner that knows the game well. So I think it's just a matter of time. She's gonna keep growing the next five years and I wouldn't know any reason why it would be not possible. Maybe this week. Well, Eight ball rifles into the top right corner. Yeah, I like how she finally got that head on. Just a little unfortunate with how the four five still got tied. And just thinking, is she able to cut this, maybe end up on the right side of the table, make the two and run into the five four with the three still being there? She's going to be jack jacking up. Right spin is going to curve the cue ball. Play that very well. Yeah, I like running into the 5-4 yeah. here. Yeah, I do. As long as you catch the right side of the ball, you're always guaranteed to be on the 3. She's playing low though. Can she draw into it? That's what she was trying to do. Also, she didn't really have to go one reel very firm into the 5 4. That's why if she played medium speed, I think she would get it. If she played very hard, she would not get it. Yeah, because if she plays hard, it widens the angle off the, off the potted ball. So 
think she can still make this. And if she can make it, then she can go up and down and try and drop on this four and five just to open them up. I think I would like to play the speed though that if I don't hit the four from the the coming down, I would try to go, go back, back up, up at least. Yeah, just in case you don't and, hit and anything. Maybe you, maybe you still hit it from coming back up. Oh, this is looking good. There's a scratch. Oh, she just Great. barely missed it. Great I thought effort. she had yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Just just a hair too much left spin. So I'm going to leave this one up to you. Do you think that banks on? It is. is she still really has to... I was thinking about bringing the cue ball three wheels behind the six and leave a long four if you don't get the hook, but still... She got a little fortunate here. It's all right. See with the bank, I felt like she w she really had to cut the ball so much, and then it's difficult. I like the <laughs> might just be me, but I like the jump shot here. I think it's the only shot. I don't think she can go real first. Kicking at this, I feel only if you can get it froze to the short rail, the top short rail, it would make sense. So specific kicking and the jump, you only land on the floor and you kind of make it. Or, I mean, depending how you land, but. Oh, good chance here for Pia Filler to get 3-1 up. Such a big lead, too, playing alternate break. To catch that early lead, two or three games. Yeah, and she's played the the kick there with topspin because she didn't have any choice. She was near the rail, so it's just widened the angle. Little straight though on the five. Not sure. I think she can still go two rails, try to miss the seven and get to the center of the table. So not too much top spin, maybe more like a tip lower. She played she it more. One rail, nice shot. Punched it in. So now some players will like to just draw the cue ball over, straight over. Then some players, they like to always go forward. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a forward type of guy. I like forward a lot. Just here, draw. Yeah, I don't mind drawing this, I think. I think this is, like you say, it's just personal preference, yeah. this. Oh, she'll need another good shot here, though. Yeah, I suppose with the draw, you're making sure that you... Get straight, more yeah, straight, get more yeah. straight, yeah. I mean, it's all right, though. She can play two reels to the center of the table. I think that would be my shot. She may even play the nine in the in corner, the corner where yeah. she is now. Yeah, that's what she decided. Well, some good speed here, though. Nice on the nine ball. Two stop shots away from a 3-1 lead. So the 10 ball goes down for a 3-1 lead. We're just gonna have a two minute break. We'll be right back.
Welcome back everyone to the WPA World Women Timball Championship. COCA breaking. Race to seven alternate break. She's down three to one. So far Pia playing good shots. Some good decisions. I like this break though. Just thinned the one ball a little bit too much. But she made it in the corner. Made the four ball. And she's got shape on the two. Yep, a little bit hampered by the three. Just got to be careful. It's hard to do anything with the cue ball with the with it being so close to the three. It's kind of tricky though too. Like she could float this in. I'm not sure if it goes to the bottom right corner. If it goes, I would always try to make the three there. Because if you get straight or you get small angle, shooting this three to the side could be a nightmare. Still got to make sure she gets on the five, so. Yeah, the three does go to the bottom right, so I'm going to try and get maybe to, well, close to the third diamond short rail. It's so maybe easy It's angle. so easy to catch this too thin, though, you yeah. know, and scratch. Okay, she did play it pretty confident. She did, but like yeah. I said, all these kind of shots, she still has to come up. This is really missable. Especially yeah. when you start to play a little inside or outside, and yep, got to play it with a bit of pace as well to come back across for the five. Nice shot, good recovery here. Now just wondering, does she have enough angle to go around the angles, around the nine ball? Yep. Or is she going to play with inside here? Two rails around the nine should, for me. Should be all right, yeah. I'd rather also go too far than too short on this. Looking good. She cues smooth though. Like her execution is pretty nice. Easy to watch. Just came up a little short to go straight over to the eight. Still manageable though. She's drawing. Looks like she's drawing. Yeah, this. drawing just below the side, the left side pocket, spinning it out. Pretty good. Would like to play this low right back to more or less where she is now. Nearly absolutely the same place. Yeah, we'll need one more good shot though. Go to the Short rail and come back up. Won't be able to 
stop the kill while there. I think drawing would be dangerous if you catch the 10, so just stay away. Just stop spin. She looks good around the balls, though, yeah. like when she finally gets to shoot. Yeah, nice control. So that's a break and run. Brings it back to 3 2. Total prize fund in this ladies' tournament is $150,000. And 50000 of that will be going to the winner. So we're playing for a hefty purse here. Yeah, absolutely. And this match is a very big one too. The winner of this is guaranteed to have $3,000. More, $3,125, uh, yeah. So the loser doesn't get this money, so this is a really big match. Let's see if Pia can catch that one ball just as thick as she just did. Hit it right square in the face. Yeah, and you see now she cut the one again. And the spread is just not as nice. Yep, definitely seems to be overcutting that. I mean, there's only the one ball and the six ball that went into the kitchen. Obviously, the five crept in, but just not enough mix for me. She's called a corner here, though. Bank two-way shot. She knows if she doesn't get it. Got to watch that cue ball. Most likely to be safe. I think she's got the hook too, though. And now I'm wondering, that two ball is blocking most of the kick. And if you go past the side, then really you got to play a lot of draw or either, either very firm. She's going the opposite. She's coming lower. With a little bit of right hand spin. It's a good effort. Yeah, it's so tough to judge the spin on those kind of shots too. Actually turned out to be quite okay. She has left a shot on the one. Guaranteed to be on the two after, but would be nice to be able to do something with that three ball. Would you think about shooting the combo on the eight? If she can make the one, and yeah, because I don't think she's going to get nice on the two to develop to it. To do something, yeah. yeah. Oh, she's missed that, and well, she is able to have a look at this, but. There's no no open shot, I feel. Played it well. Yeah, good shot. And the further that one ball goes, the more annoying the jump shot is. She's jumping this. Top left corner. Big chance too if she doesn't make it to have a safety with so many balls down table. He called it. so tough to jump that by going elevating the queue you just lose that aiming so much that's why most of the players actually like to bank a ball like that more often than trying to cut it I 
Oh, nice like hit though. Yeah, oh, nice. very nice hit. Yeah, that was played for. You could see the pace she hit it at. That was definitely what she was trying to do. Yeah, a little notch of the seven, but I like the pace. She had her jump cue with her, though. I <laughs> didn't really like that at all. So she's going to be... Those are scary, though. If she catches the right side of the one, she can either make it or get kind of safe, though. But she's missed it, and... Well, look at the layout, too. You make the one, the two in the side, the three in the side, stop shot on the four. So yeah. and, and then it's all open. Yep. Yeah, she sort of didn't get the left-hand English on the cue ball there, did she? I mean, it was a difficult kick, too. Oh, yeah. You're jacking over the 10 and... It's tough not to put spin on the cue ball by accident as well. Yeah, it's hard to see where... I mean, I don't want to tempt fate, but it's hard to see where anything can go wrong on this run out. Yeah, no, but it's, I mean, it's understandable. Usually when you take the first three, four balls away, the racks open up quite easily, yep. though, if, if there's no no clusters anymore. Well, in this case, you... Okay, she got on the road. This is, it's got a little nasty, though. If she rolls up to the center of the table, she's still all right. But now she will have to soft roll this, though. Like, if she puts a little pinch on there, she will lose the cue ball. So, twice the long reel here. Yep, cue ball anywhere near where it is now would be good. little longer than she would have liked yeah the good thing though is sh if she plays a stop shot she n actually needs the angle on that seven to come back up for the eight so she she's just basically playing a straight stop shot here yeah oh a little wobble it had a little thing didn't it Nice bump off the bottom rail. Back towards her hand, yep. goes and that's a two rack cushion again yeah when I said that before you she's supposed to run those yeah out, I mean but you never still got to do it yeah well the thing is sometimes losing focus get out of line a little bit because you got to maintain angles too now you get straight on this shot now you have to play some big draw you hang the ball or you get too far like it it's easily said and done, but of course, yeah. You would have to favor her getting out from that position for sure. And like we said before, it's always a lot easier from our point of view here. Yeah, yeah that, that's <laughs> why we're here, here, right? Yep, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, 4-2. Seal breaking. It's been breaking the balls a little better than filler so far. But not this time. Cut the one ball a little bit too much again. Yeah, and you still you have those four balls there. Look, all grouped together: two, four, nine, and ten. Well, it looks like it doesn't go. Just wondering what to play here. Probably a push, but... I'm getting a little impatient, I was thinking. <laughs> just leave an open offensive shot and try to super draw into the two or something like that. Just... <coughs> Yeah, I think the only the only shot here is a thin snick off the left hand side. Top rail, side rail down. Trying to come down behind the four balls that are together. Ten, nine, four and two. That's a great effort. Yeah, she hit that good. Is the speed alright? Yeah. It's there, and also, I think the five is in the way, so she's got the double ball cover, which takes away the jump, and that's usually a big thing. Yeah, there you can see on that angle. Don't think there is a long rail kick over the right side. Maybe a long rail kick one rail over the left side, but I Radio think I might be going two rails from the come from the back on the, on the one. Oh, only three seconds, though. I'm just wondering, did she I think she still had her extension too. Maybe she was like, well, you know, even if I fall on this, she might not get out with that cluster, so let me save my extension. But I would be thinking the other way. I would be thinking, well, you know, better take my extension now and survive a little bit more than Yeah. Extension is no good if he if, if you, you don't share. get another shot. Yeah. yeah. David, I tried the action and action you can start the practice. Little far on the two. Should be manageable. She could also go into the nine maybe with some more spe uh, speed. John Morris, I have a Push the cue ball through it, up table. table Don't think she can play with draw. She's stunning the ball. I would be trying not to hit the four here. Yeah, though. if the four moves, she's going to struggle to get on the three. Yeah. Safety behind the four. Think going one reel up. Gotta freeze it though. I don't. I don't really see anything else. Roman Kibler, Tanya Shakhtevanovic. You can start your practice on table number thirteen. in the end decided that distance was the best option. I like it though. The only the only thing you were you was not gonna get the three ball safe ish like any at least do the short rail. So tough position though. She's called her extension this time. I think you got a kick in between the 10-5, trying to catch the most of the left side of the three, trying to push the three to the top short rail. Yeah, trying to spin in behind the three, bump the three up table.
pretty good effort. I mean, she hit it quite good, and even though she didn't get the hook, this was still all right. Don't think she's left anything attacking on here, so probably cut the three into the six and bring the cue ball two rails around the eight behind the ten five again. Yeah. Three should just travel towards that back rail there. It's pretty good. Yeah, perfect shot. And also, the six ball is eliminating going over that short rail, which is pretty big. Usually you have a lot of kicking sticks there. Yeah. Really dug into the cue ball there, trying to manipulate it, trying to make it square up off that first rail, and actually, it, in the end, overdid it. So the main problem now is getting from the five nicely on the six. It looks like the six only goes into one corner. So, wants a nice, stay nice and high on this five. And come straight over. And come yeah. straight over, yeah. She has a little bit more on the four. She could bump off the short wheel and come back up high, though. It's looking to be good. Yeah, I yeah. like it. Yeah, played it well. Of course, it's a shot you will miss once in a while, but... It at least guarantees to be on the six. That's, That's, it. That's also right, the yeah. play. Well, I don't understand that. I don't understand why she's not just played it plain ball straight up and down. And also, I it looked to us that the six didn't go in the other corner. So, but, but even if the six did go, I just feel there's nothing to do with the yeah, truly a center ball, yeah, very s straightforward shot going sh up and down, going the way she went. You're always going to bring that corner pocket into play. Well, if I was going to play to the other side of the six, I would probably play top left, and not with not with the draw left, just to go straight over three rails yep. to the side rail, uh, short rail, short, short rail. rail, yeah. Well, Pia Filler has to take advantage of this to get 5-2 in an alternate break race to seven is pretty huge. Okay, so she's opted to spin the cue ball and leave the nine ball in the top left. She's got perfect though, she's yeah, got absolutely. a perfect angle. Yep. She's gonna make sure she's not on the straight to shoot the uh, well, on the on the rail to shoot the ten. Straight shot. Yeah, see so see how it looks to be in trouble here. There it is, 5-2, Pia Filler. Tyler Steyer, Tomasz Kaplan, please proceed to table 15. 
Yeah, the next round tonight at 7.30 we'll have a bunch of good matches around. The last 32 of the Predator and WPA World 8-Ball Men Championship. Table 1. We did have Shane Van Boning. I'm not actually sure who he was playing. Shane Van Boning was playing on Table 1. And then we have Francisco Sanchez Ruiz playing Mika Imanen on this table, 7.30. So some good matchups will be interesting. But for now, it's Seosia back at the table. Again, so much cut on the one. She's going for the jump though. Tough to get on the two ball after. Oh. Oh, I'm wondering, does that two ball go to the side? I would like to remind the participants of the men's last 32 rounds that your rates have changed and it is now a race to 10. So, like yeah, just found out on table 1, 7.30, we have Shane Van Boning and Albin Ushan, the local hero, actually. Which is, I think, one of the best matchups in the last 32 we have th tonight. Great matchup, yep. I mean, there's so many other good ones, though, but especially what from what we have seen from them both in the last weeks. Albin reached the final in the Hanoi Open. Shane, well, Shane is Shane. <laughs> 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 he just now we all know how he breaks the ball, so you will have to favor him always when he's playing eight or ten ball. Nine ball could be a little different, but especially eight and ten ball is just crushing him right in the face. Well, well, I think I can do this. I've actually commentated on a couple of his matches this week, and he's <laughs> he's been breaking from the side. Yeah, yeah. I mean, which you I would mean, never expect from him, but no, but he's still making it happen. So nice stroke there. Yeah, just wondering what her plan is with the three ball. I don't feel like going for the three here. Just overcut the three and bring the cue ball three rails behind the nine or the four six and just wait. I, there's not really much more she can do to open the four six. On the way she's queuing up, she's going for this. She's going around the corner and. She's trying to hit the six? She, yeah, she's got to bump the six, but she just pushed herself in a lot of trouble here. Now I am probably just gonna shoot the nine away, m take intentional foul. Oh, I don't think this goes. Does this go? Doesn't look great to me. <laughs> I don't like it. Referee, keep your eye on this. Oh, yeah, it's good. actually, it was a good shot. Yep. Yeah, and and she's got the hook. Nice shot from Seosea. And the four ball guy <laughs> in a really tough position too. I like jumping at this. I like kicking at this stri straight on it though. Just one reel. After contacting the four, the cue ball is gonna have spin to run up to the top side of the table. If you play enough speed, you might get the separation. Yeah, I think you'd have been playing it much firmer than that as well. Yeah. Yeah, imagine if you catch the four thick with this speed. You're just going to push the four to the open side of the table. And I mean, you at least want to try and get lucky. <laughs> yeah. Center of the table. 
A lot of work to do still. Try to get close to the six. I think I would like to be straight on the six too to just draw back a little bit. Coming past the seven, I think. Just enough. So she can get to the cue ball. Just stunt left here. Seven in the bottom right corner. I wouldn't try to move the cue ball too much. You could stun out for the seven in the side, but Well she's she's did a, she's done a good job. I was just wondering if she gets some angle on the seven and now it it's annoying. But she's good here, just soft follow, eight in the top right, some draw on the nine. Perfect. So there it goes, closing the gap a little bit. 5 3, still trailing, but played a good rack here, though. Especially she played a kick and stick, then run out. And breaking. And breaking, yeah. So here we are back with the WPA World Pool Billiard Championships here in Klagenfurt 2023. We've got the World Temple Championship in the women division here. So say a breaking. Nice break. One straight in the side. Perfect layout too. Yeah, best break of the match. A lot more. Fuller on the contact on the one ball. I was trying to hold the cue ball there. Actually turned out not too bad she can still go up through the short rail with a little spin and come down but was trying to get more straight yeah it looked like the backspin had nearly stopped by the time it got to the two ball so it yeah. just lost the cue ball a little bit I mean I think she needs a hair of inside though she's gonna get a little deeper she doesn't want to run into the nine, so just a half left. Just let that one go as well. And she got fairly straight on the four, so I think she the only thing she can do is play a stop shot here and take the cut. Bridging Th over the ten as well. Just wondering, does the six ball go to the bottom right corner? Because if it does go, then the cut on the five is not that bad. If it doesn't go... You will have to play a very good speed on the five and could be scary. First this stop shot here. 
Nice queuing. Now top right. Spin. Crossover. I mean, it's not horrible, but if she has to play this soft. You know, most of the people don't like the, the spinners and the soft touchy shots. Oh, that seven ball helped her and also not helped her. Yep, both ways. Helped the five, but made the position <laughs> a, little <laughs> a little bit tricky. But she looks like she's straight in, you know. If you shoot the six to the corner, like just like the seven is not there, you make the seven. Yep. So in this case, she was lucky. <laughs> yeah, little bonus there. Oh, big break too. Would be to close the gap even to 5-4. Then we have... Uh, then actually we have a match. Yeah. Looked like Pia was Running close away, to going yeah. just 7-2, 7-3 score. She needs that to come away from the 8. Bit close to her work there. Ooh. And these are tough because... You're shooting a little bit blind away from the pocket. Played it very well. Made it look easier than it was. Yeah, great recovery shot. Perfect in line on the nine as well. It's going to be pretty nice to cross over for the 10 yeah definitely the second half of the match she's been playing a lot better than in the beginning so 5-4 it is if she makes a stem ball we've got a match ladies and gentlemen 5-4. Alex Kazaki. First and foremost, please proceed to table 5. This is a reminder to your plane race to 10. There it is again, really overcutting that one ball. Well, she's done it so often that I'm actually thinking she's trying to do this, but I'm still trying to find the purpose of it. I mean, I know Joshua breaks similar to this, but I he puts a little bit more pop on there, so the one actually gets many chance to go to the side. She can be giving chances like this all the time. Needs that to go. I'm surprised she played it this way. I was thinking play inside and get to the short rail for the two in the bottom left. This is not great though. Now of course, she's elevated with the bridge, so I'm hoping that she's not trying to cut this too. Looks like she's just trying to drop the. Is she trying to drop the cue ball or on the four? She could go three rails, thin the ball, and go three rails behind the seven six. Possible four. Played it well. Nice shot.
think I would be kicking this with pretty soft speed trying to catch the right side of the two. Just because the two, uh, the three and the five is a pretty big wall. Yeah, yeah. Even if you sh if you hit the right side, in this case left side. Oh, she's opened up all the balls. She hits the right side in this view and catches a five yep. and a three. She's still okay. Just seeing the angle on the 6-7 combo. It will be interesting though if she goes for it. It's not guaranteed to have something nice on the 6. But now with the 5 being close, she could also choose to play a bump. Yeah, at least the 5 being close, it gives her options Yeah. to either play the combo or disturb the, the two balls. Is she gonna go f four rails around the five? Like go really short around the angles and go get to the left side? I don't know what she's played here. Well, it, it looks like she's settled on just sticking that cue ball behind the the six and the seven, using the seven as a sort of stopper. Just stop it on the seven, yep. Yeah, staying in control this way. And I also don't think there is a two railer going short rail, long rail, so her only shot might be going directly into the five. I just wonder if she's bumped that seven enough as well. I don't think so actually. She no, the six doesn't no. go and the combo is tougher. There's a carom on the seven. She's made contact, which... Well, actually, everything got worse. The eight ball does go now, which didn't before. She's left the five, and I think there's a carom on the seven, so you're guaranteed to be on the six. The only thing you still got to get decent on the carom, though. Yeah, to so that you can stay on the six. Yeah. Yeah, sort of come to the middle of the table. Uh, yeah. It's just the speed if she gets the speed right on this. That looks pretty good, as long as it slows up a bit. Yeah, it's going to be a little thinner on the on the carom, but still expect her to be okay. Just don't play it too firm. Yeah, and it's there. Yeah, I feel all the momentum is with COCA and Pia is breaking down a little bit just by being in the chair all the time. Yeah, definitely. Probably come back across for the 10 in the same side. At the same corner, beg your pardon. Just bump off the rail.
So five each. Couple good safeties this rack though. Played a couple good cue ball control shots. Yeah, I feel she's starting to be really smooth and Pia is breaking down a little bit. You know how it feels like if you just three, four games, you just only kick, only kick, and then maybe you get one shot in between, you don't make it. You get so out of stroke. Yeah, and in that last rack there where she played the cue ball into the center of the table with the purpose of playing the safe, it, it says to me that she's thinking clearly as well. Yeah. So she's been breaking pretty well. Can she repeat the last break? One in the side. Well, the one oh, the didn't one in go. Also doesn't go in the corner, and she's left it wide open. Yeah, she she's pretty disappointed. She just cut it. You see, she just cutting it to where the cue ball is going already to the side bucket makes the one not go anymore. Yeah. So they really have to be so square on the one, or it just won't go. Opportunity for Pia Filler. I think she might have to use the five here. If you try to go through the one and then come back out, you sometimes run into the five. So I like it this way. And now I think I might go forward for the three in the side. If you can get close to straight, then you float the three and now it's open. Yeah, definitely, because I think that, that point on the side pocket would come into play if you try to take the three in the corner. Yeah, and it's not a comfortable shot either. If you leave yourself high, now you have to jack up, dig in the cue ball to... Oh. To get to the four was a little strange. Just feel that that shot there is all down to being sat in the chair for so long. Yeah. And she's left a really easy safety shot here. It's going to be just a stop shot. Just don't make the two in any pocket. Yeah, she's in trouble here. Okay, she, she does have a one real kick over the right side. But then again, the last couple of games, she's only been kicking. That's all she's been doing. I think that's why she's missed that two ball down the side there. If that's at the start of the match... She's making that all day long. Yeah. Yeah, just a little too wide and such a big wreck too. You know, you just want to have one decent chance to get yourself on the hill and she's just not been getting much. And for say or say, yeah, she probably feels like Oh, nice, I got another ball in hand, you know. All the balls are open, oh. <laughs> like, she's loving it at this moment, of course. She's got all the momentum. Do you see any challenges here? The four to the five is the main thing. She wants to draw this back so that she's not using the bridge. I'm guessing she's going to cut this in and inside and get to... She can choose the center of the table or in between the 10-8. Yeah. I think I would try to go center of the table. Could also go around the six. I think that's what she's going to do around the back of the sixth. As so... Played it very well. Nice judgment on the pace. I think going from the 7 to the 8 could cause some trouble though. As you usually would like to play the 8 in the side, but where the 7 is so deep up table... Okay, 
This is a good start, though, for that setup. Yeah, I actually think it's, it's rare you say it, but being straight on the seven would be ideally. Yeah, just just, just straight, to draw yeah. it back. Yeah. I mean, of course, if she gets a small angle, it's all right, but. It's either that, or you need to go back to the center of the table and go two rails twice a long rail. Yeah, and that's what she's done because she finished straight on the six. She didn't. She couldn't get straight on the seven, so she's she's done the right thing. She hasn't left it in between being I straight. I don't like going three rails here though. Like the nine ball comes into play, and if you go around it that deep, you might not make it all the way down for the eight. So. Even even around. with the arc on the cue ball. Yeah, That's if you make the big arc, then... Like that. I just feel it's so often you end up with this kind of angle on the eight. I think she's got just okay, though, to still draw, use the rails, and come back out. But half a diamond shorter, and now your cut is really difficult. She plays a lot of spin and will really open up on the second reel too. Okay, she played it just one. Nice shot though. Yeah, very the nice. Speed especially is really yeah. good on this. You see, I thought she could even draw more, but she got really low. Well, she's making it happen. Huge stumble here. This is to get on the hill first. Won't be breaking, but if she makes this, guaranteed the break if it gets six each. Yeah. 30 minutes ago, we wouldn't have been thinking that Seosa would have been on the hill first. Yeah. That's for sure. Absolutely not, no. Such a big momentum swing, and I think the last three, four wrecks, Pia only missed one shot. Yeah, the two down the rail. That's it? Yeah. So is she going to stay overcutting this one ball? Let's see. Really feel she needs to hit it more head on. Well, she has overcut it. And she has made the one in the side. But the five's come and nudged. The, she was straight in on the two. Five, virtually the last ball rolling, comes round and nudges the two. There it goes. Well, can she get to enough of the two ball to draw behind the ten? Don't think she can draw behind the ten. What I was looking at is maybe drawing the cue ball into the rail and then get behind the three. Yeah. Well, it, that might be a good option because th this two is going to be going close to the side. And there's a chance to double up with the three and the five. You see, I like what she done there. I just yeah. think she could have still get closer to the three to eliminate a little bit more room. But yeah, yeah. the good thing, though, is I don't like the jump that much. You'll have to jump and get underneath the side pockets, which is not a guaranteed. Oh, she's called it. Two in the bottom right corner. That is tough, though. Tell you the what, four comes into play as well. Yeah, yeah. No, she's yeah, she changed her mind. She's called the... Uh, 
think it's going to be the 9 in the top left corner. I like what she's trying to do here though. Just needs a little bit of cover and... Yeah, well, she's made something happen there. She's nudged the 5 into a funny position right in front of the 3 ball. So now the 3 only goes into the left corner as we're looking. Bottom left corner. I don't like playing this with right spin. Most of the time it's going to be too thin or you run into the 9. So I might go left spin and try to go 3 rails. Wow, look at this. Oh, she's done. I'll tell you what, She's done that it. is a shot. Wow. <laughs> that is a shot. <laughs> Perfect. Ball and head position on the three. It's basically been sat down for half an hour and <laughs> comes with that perfection. And now, after that shot, she's got to make this pay. Yes. I mean, uh, even more so at this stage of the match, but what a shot that was. Yeah, straight is good. Just going to leave the cue ball where the five is. Would make it very interesting though if she runs this out and gets on the hill, then we actually have both players that finally got some feel, and then just one wreck. <laughs> because most of the time, whenever someone comes back like Seosia did, and then finally gets on the hill, then they usually snap it off from there. Yeah, because they've got the momentum. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Straight up the table. Probably use the top rail. I like to use the top rail. Just feel the pace. I mean, she's kind of. Actually, she's a little. I think yeah, she she's a little bit straighter over than though. I thought. Yeah. Yeah, if you have more angle, just b use the rail. Take some speed off the cue ball. Should be good, anyways. Everything but straight. I think she's good here. So many ways to play is I like to go two rails here back, short rail, right long rail, and come all the way down. But especially trying to play two rails or three rails. Do you mean you play this with low right? Yeah, but then the way to where I'm going straight over to the short rail, not yeah, towards yeah. the corner. Yeah. But then again, some players like to play this just top spin like she just did. That's what I'd have played. I'd have played it the way she played. It's just I sometimes get scared, like being on the rail, but also the corner comes into play sometimes. It's just a little preference. Oh. Nice run out. Great first shot. So, hill, hill. We'll go for a short little break, but stay with us. There we are, it's 6-6. Six, six. Just one wreck for $3,000 and a spot in the last 16 here in the WPA Predator World Women 10 Ball Championship. So, see our breaking. Really cut the one ball a lot there, though. A lot of cut on the one. Yeah, definitely more than she has been doing. Wha 
what an opportunity for Pia Filler here. Yeah, it looks like it looks like the four purple four won't won't go past the five ball. So she's gonna need to leave a good angle on the three. I think it starts with the two already though, because it's really tough to get somewhat straight on the two. So yeah. then you will already have to go up and down. And then yeah. that position I mean is coming into play where you need some good angle on the three. Just a nice contact on this. Low left. Back. Across to the side where she's playing it from. Above the side pocket. To come back in between the six and the seven ball. Just like that. She needs to go a touch. That's perfect. It's about as good as she could have done. Yeah. The only thing though, Little cutting this ball is going to have a lot of speed and you're trying to hold it on the right side of the four. So you are playing two reels here, but still you got to hold your stroke a little bit. Got to commit. Played it well. Played it very well Played indeed. it too well. She's ended up near the side rail on the other side. Didn't think that was possible with the angle she had, but... Yeah, so now, just to get on the top side of the six, I think that's the biggest challenge. If you can drop down for the seven in the side, then... Yeah, you feel this is the one. This is the shot. If you can execute this and get nicely on that six ball. Well, she's, she's elected to leave the six into the corner. That way she's taking all the traffic out of the equation on the positional side. It's just for me it's more difficult to get nice on the seven now yeah yeah you definitely want to get to the bottom side of the lowered. seven yeah low on the seven ball gets a little nervy too because you know you actually have to put a decent stroke on there not just make the ball and we'll see after she chose to go a little forward and yeah <laughs> Joshua there I think he, he's a little nervous <laughs> yeah, too. He's struggling there in the crowd yeah, just because that side pocket doesn't come into play you'll either have to play a very smooth draw and get past the side or stun over on to the left side of the eight but then the nine does the come nine, into play the nine comes in yeah well, I played that very <laughs> very well yeah that was a big shot you could see the cue ball going towards the nine but the control on the pace was perfect yeah just stop spin could choose to go around the nine too with a little left oh she played with the inside guarantee the angle I like it so just two balls to stay alive actually in the tournament. Yeah. Yeah, the loser of this match is going to be going home. The winner gets to the last 16 and is guaranteed $3,100. There it is. Just this 10 ball.
what a performance from Pia Filler to still scrape through this match. She beat Seosea 7-6. After all the things that happened, she was close to not getting there though. So what a match. Congratulations to her. We'll see her probably tomorrow back again. This was Daryl Peach and myself, Tim De Reuter. And we're going to have a match well probably starting soon last 32 in the world eight ball men championship so make sure you tune in for that one thank you Joshua Fillers, Mateusz Śniegowski, please proceed to table 20.